stop crying, pedals and effects fans. We have three of them. <clears throat> it's the space station episode. <laughs> From Digitech. The Digitech. Legendary. Legendary space station. XP300 with two modded uh, 400 and a 200. Mm -hmm. I made the mistake one time of buying an XP100, which is the whammy wah. Can't mod it. Can't mod it. Let's here's do this. here's the situation with this. Diving in. So, uh, John and Hishke told me about the space station. Right. Me, probably, told me too. He probably. Me too. God, he gets props again. Uh, it's. I mean, yeah. He mentioned it to me. Maybe. I don't know, 2008, 2009 is when I heard about the space station. I think he told me like 2005 or six, six. It's like been yeah. a long time. Yeah. So um, this thing, you can't really find these. I mean, if you do, here's, you're here's the right. thing. You either have a lot of extra money. If you have this, if you're holding this in your hands, yeah. there's, there's three things actually. You either have a lot of money, you're, you were way cool back then and you were into weird shit, or you're just borrowing it from a friend. That's okay. what we're doing. Yes. This yes. isn't ours. That is. Show the sticker. So uh, Josh Klinghoffer was kind enough to let us just hang on to it for this video. I don't know if you could see this, but there's even a little custom sticker on there so people don't steal his shit. So if Jonathan Hishke has a pedal on his pedal board, it's got that sticker. It's not his pedal. <laughs> right. So, okay, so uh, let's see here. So this is the OG again. Yes. If you look on Reverb or eBay or whatever, this is probably at least 500 bucks. At least, yes. So what someone figured out how to do, uh, I guess at some point, was how to mod these two this is a like a modulation um, XP, so there was like choruses and I don't remember what else is in there, but you know, modulation sounds, and that's the reverb. So essentially, when you pop these open, uh, and I've been there when he, he modded that. I did not mod that. A friend of ours uh, in Nevada City knows how to do these, which people have been hitting me up, and maybe hitting you up, and maybe hitting Jonathan up about it, and it's just like, it's just an electronics wizard dude, and everyone's like, well, can I get his info? Can I get his info? And it's like, well... He does this for his friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. there's YouTube tutorials on how to do it and stuff. Because basically when you pop this open, uh, it's all the same except for an EEPROM chip. Right. It looks like a little fucking bug. And they just yank that bug out and slap another bug in. And then maybe there's like a few little adjustments you do to turn that. I mean, I don't even know if we've mentioned this yet. But if you're not in the know, this has been magically transformed into this. Right. And... And that right. by by taking out by switching the chips on it. Right. Okay. So there's also another thing that people do, which is called the jetpack mod. What? Do you know about the jetpack mod? Apparently not. Oh shit. Okay. So what you can do is um, mod like a four in one. So you can get the space station. I did hear the two hundred, yes. the three hundred, and the one hundred. And it's uh, usually when you see them online, I think it's those sell for a lot of money too. Probably. Well, probably the same price as a space station. Right. For four to five hundred bucks. Uh, and so it's the kind of thing where you unplug it and then switch a dial and then you can get any one of them. Oh, wow. That's cool, but I mean... The space station is the money. This is what you want. I have the EEPROM chips if I ever wanted to, like, to r turn this back into, you know, the 200. And that's yours. Also, and there's we have that as well. Yes. But you never... Who cares? It's reverse. Right. Well, you know, I, I was in Future Music. Jack had this behind the counter. And I knew that you knew somebody. Mm -hmm. um, I'd met our friend, but I, I wasn't as tight with him as you or Jonathan are. And so I bought it. Sight and see, didn't even plug it in or anything. Took it home because I knew <laughs> right. you guys would be And I, I have one of those two that I got for probably 75 bucks just in case this one ever goes down so I have a backup of it too. Tight. Also, I guess we didn't even really mention, again, well, we're, uh, we're just kind of uh, assuming people know what this is, but we didn't even say what the fuck this thing does. It's a multi-effect right. that does a lot of crazy shit before it was like the norm to do crazy shit. So on the back here, um, it's kind of like your little table as far as like what's what each setting is. So in, in the guts of this, there's 40 different presets, right? Comes with 40 sounds, you can't edit the sounds, 40 you know internal sounds, and then you can save um, six user presets, so you can go through it and have it so you can easily access the six. One, six that you yeah. like. Yeah. So here's what's going on in the back. There's, this is so fucking cool. Type of sounds, 
You got a bunch of synths, a bunch of warps, a whole bunch of aliens, and Sonic. Digitech I, was yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, way ahead. Um, Acid drop in Utah dude. made and crazy dudes. So anyway, so it does like a, a whole bunch of wacky sounds, yes. some of which are really neat, some of which... I mean, I basically use maybe a quarter of what's on, what you can get out of this, and then... um. I know Hishki's, we'll show you what Hishki's favorite is, but his is like a, let's see, it's like a, a it's a, a reverse, reverse playback. Yeah. So it's, it does this thing where you're like playing, playing and then it slows it down. And then once you like pass like the 50% threshold, it starts reversing it and speeding right. it back up. It's fucking insane. But so again, this is like a really sought after pedal. And right. doing this is getting really popular now. Yes. But there is a petition online to reissue this. I wouldn't know that. I think they were trying to get like, or maybe it got like 50,000 signatures or something. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing about that is if, if Digitech is going to go th like through the insane process of reissuing this thing, people need to fucking buy it. Right. You need to put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. That's how this works. And Digitech has been really cool about like recognizing what people are interested right. in. And so you never know. Maybe, I mean, we've shown this a hundred times. One. But we want them to reissue this. They, I think they might because they went up in price. But this is that's another Jonathan Hishke special. Yes, he told me about this one. I agree. He but, was, but you know what though? <laughs> I kind of finesse it to some other level of. Well, genius. obviously, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, I mean, we all like. But the point that's is, dumb. is like the Digitech DoD were doing some like really yes. wild stuff back yes. then. I, uh, uh, Billy, I think. Have you met Billy? No. Uh, oh, but he's Tom's other dude. Yeah. yeah so he's the other dude at Digitech. Right. And he's the one that I, if I'm not mistaken, he like designed this. That one. So I met him and was like, dude, you don't even know. That's yeah. like a big deal these days. Or what about JJ? Sonic tested JJ. Yeah. I, I don't know. Dude, sound, JJ? sound tested musician JJ. I don't know if hey, you can hey, I gotta, see I gotta that. add. I gotta add. There's those. a sticker underneath here that says yeah. sound tested by JJ. But Nick's doesn't have it. No. Nope. Oh, JJ didn't fuck with but, me. But, uh, I got to say, the, the last thing I really, really, really absolutely love about this is the skate deck. I want all mine to have the grip tape. Yep. Feel me? Uh, the other weird thing about what, these is the power supply is the old school Harmons. Right. Which are oh. not good. They go down. They they blow out easily. The new whammies and different, like, um, you know, foot Reissue, pedal right. reiss reissues and stuff, they're just standard. Now. But these are, like, kind of hard to, to get and uh like that's I've toured with that thing, you know, in different countries with different power supply thing. Not mm -hmm. power supplies, but uh, right, power right. sources. Right. And actually, so check this out. This is funny. So this thing, what happens is when the power supply gets fried, it kind of like resets the whole pedal and you need to calibrate it. If you've right. ever had to calibrate a whammy or something or the old ones. So I was in like Japan once and like fried the power supply it was like a, a venue that didn't have wi-fi or something right, right. so i was like fuck stressing like literally i could not get this thing going because i had to calibrate it and i i'm in japan and i can't get on the fucking internet or whatever you know so what i did i fucking printed out the calibration directions and taped that shit on the back I'm you're smart. a fucking genius dude, dude straight up oh my god <laughs> I pat myself on the back for that one hey can, so can we do that we gotta do one other thing so look at so just like Nick showed on the original space station so this isn't a reverb anymore but if you got a reverb I mean check them dude they were so tight that like, has this is so look at that's fucking awesome that oh, actually dude. has 50 presets that's crazy Word. I wonder if the, I'm gonna dude, get some extra fucking shit. this one had 61 presets what? so here's the thing I mean it if you know at some point in our lifetime they decide to reissue this they're not gonna do it I, you know what I mean it would be a, a select few I mean there is it would be cool if they did but I'm just saying if they could figure out a way to take what is amazing about the space station and put it into a new casing with right. the expression pedal. Right. I mean, I don't, we don't need all 40 of these, even though that would be cool. But I mean, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't use it for everything. Um, oh, the other thing that I would like to mention, no, then please do. Um, going back to the jetpack mod. Yes. Where it's all four right. stacked. Right. Uh, so I saw, I found one on Craigslist last year and a dude was selling a jetpack mod XP, um, it was it was for like eighty bucks, what? And, right? And in the description, he's like, 
yeah, I mean, something's wrong with it. I, I'm selling it as is. Just it's, you know, the, the expression pedal doesn't work. I, it's not like responding to anything. And so he was just getting rid of it for 80 bucks. It needed to be recalibrated, right? Oh. So that's what was wrong with it. So even through his description, I was like, oh, fuck. This guy doesn't know that those go down really easily. So he's probably fucking spent 400 bucks on it and plugged it into something or whatever or, or fried okay. his power supply or whatever it was to where it would turn on, but it like wasn't working. Got it. So he needed his calibration directions. Right. So I hit him up and was like, dude, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I can meet you anywhere. And he must have gotten wise because he eventually, after we went back and forth, he's like, no, I'm good. I think I'm going to hold on to it. Ah. I was like, fuck. So if you ever see one of these online or whatever that is broken or if it's really cheap at a guitar center, you know, or wherever it is, if it doesn't work, the chances are it just needs to be recalibrated. Well, I got one thing to say. Does it sound as good as a real fucking space station? 100%. Then it's, let's fire this shit up. It's just a chip. It's just the. I, I hear you. But I, I think, like, fools out and. No. Anyone know, that would. YouTube land. Anyone that would suggest that is a dumbass. It's a. It, Damn. No, straight up. It, it's, a, it's a chip that you just place inside. Chips, you know, check it out. Chips are trippy, too. But. It's what is programmed into the chip. It's not actually, it's not a tonality thing. Yeah. You, so, because the reports are out that supposedly the new vibrato doesn't sound the same as this vibrato. That's because the they use a different chip. Yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Th these are not meant to be updates on each other. It's like, I'm, I'm telling right. you, when you open you. the backs up, it's the same shit under the hood. So. Should we pop one open too? Fuck it. We could probably this do pop that. Pop Josh's open. No, hell nice. no. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> pop Josh's, dude. <laughs> all so, right. There's all right. a guy out in fucking internet land who doesn't believe that these could sound the same. Can we prove him wrong? That guy is you. Oh, shit. It's so, not me. So check out, check this out real quick. So these are all plugged into each other. We're going to AB them just for fun. And it looks tight having them all out. Like this. I think so. So real quick. So I just show back here. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me get my freaking flashlight going so you can see this. So, there's stereo outs. Um, this is like a little level uh, attenuator yes. thing. So, um, basically, these are all... I, I like to have them at 50%, usually. That's kind of like unity, I mm -hmm. guess, as they say. But this one's cranked a little bit more. You can't really see it, probably. But anyways, because we're losing a lot of signal by going through all these fucking... Because they're not true bypass? Dude, oh my god. Oh... Uh, not true bypass. No, fuck it. So uh, never gonna make my rig. So <laughs> we're too much. We're too assholes. <laughs> so this is mine. Uh, this is setting. So come look over here real quick. User setting number one. That's what's going on there. Yes. Uh, this is like a volume swell type thing. Let me show you this pretty little sound. Yes. So, obviously, lots of people can create that sound in pedals now. You can't fucking walk down the street without running into a pedal that has the volume swell. Okay, yes. Right, with the sparkly top end and shit. But, to me, this is the best one. Got it. I'm not getting paid to fucking say that. Nope. Not a dime. I mean, I, but, and even how big and clunky and going down this thing does, it's like, that. this is what I want. That's the sound I want out of that. You got so anyway, it. so that's a really cool sound. Uh, let's go to this one. Mr. Klinghoppers, how Dude. does it sound? Well, this is going to be a different sound here that I have dialed in. This is what they call, let's see, number 10, time warp delay, forward stop reverse. So this is like pretty fucked up and awesome. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm not playing slower. Do you no. see what I'm saying? Hey, it's not the landscape transport either. It's space station. Right. 
But okay, now watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this playing on the right. guitar. Right, I got you. I mean, to my knowledge, there's not another pedal that does no, that. No, super tight. Have you heard, seen that before? No, elsewhere? never. Of course not. Okay. No. So I think I've got your secret spatial dialed in to do the, do my Looney Tunes sound that I like. So on this setting, it um, when it's when the pedal was pushed forward, it's uh, a little bit longer to like. Uh, uh, slide up to that note a little like a latency yeah exactly but when you fucking drop that shit down <laughs> you know, wait a you, sec is that a Terramello song dude oh my god so obviously you can see like who would have given a fuck about that back then Right? I mean, weirdos. They're still well, weird yeah, about no. it. But yeah, I know so, what you mean. So I have a friend that um, he got an original. Someone gave him an original space station. My friend Pat, uh, who's like, is kind of in the punk scene. And a dude back, the, like probably, let's say 2004 or something, had given him a space station and was like, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to do with it. It just makes fucked up sounds, right? So Pat used it and salvaged it for parts because Pat was the same thing. He's like, "What? What do you? What am I going to do with this?" So he just like Frankenstein it into something else. Sad story. Damn. But the point being, it's just like you know. Now, just again, you go into the whole like that world of like '90s obscure kind of weirdo stuff, and now everyone wants it. Yep. So let's do a little A B, um, and just for. Who knows why? Just show you that it's for the, one purpose. Well, I guess I actually understand why people might be skeptical about the OG versus, um, you know, getting the modded ones. So let's see. So this should be. Uh, let's see the sound. Rad. Watch. I guess it's going to sound the exact same. I think mine sounds best. Dude, yours just has like a warmth to it. I feel Dude, like. I get every time I buy pedals, mine's the best one. I don't know how that works. What else to say about these? I mean, I just think they're really, really cool. It would be fucking insane if they reissued this. And Tom is a cool dude, so you never know. But, I mean, you know. In any case, the... Uh, you know, people are looking for these right now. Yes. But I think the but last thing, Nick, I think we talked a hell of a lot in this. I think people want to hear more sounds. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So right now we're in Synth World. Let's go to Alien World. We'll go to around the 20s, which is going to be like some ring mod sounding stuff. So if you want to go up, you press it yes. like that. If you want to go down, you, you hold, hold it. it. Yep. So let's see what's... It even going. says hold down. Let's dog. see. So this is like a kind of a blending into a ring mod. Station, but it feels like you're in space. Exactly. 
So here's our sample and hold sound. Kind of what this guy does. The old Earthquaker spatial delivery. sonic territory. These are uh, another sound that's kind of getting big with pedals, which is kind of like the pitch shifted delay. Yeah, way ahead. Way, way ahead, ahead of the game. Right? Hey, a little reminiscent of the Rainbow Machine. I mean, there's Rainbow Machine, yeah, but again, that's like a sound now. Yeah. The pitch shifted like fucked up stuff. Hey, side doing the hey, side doing the soundtracks. Dude, but check this out. Check this shit out. What's that? Volume swell. Straight up. Fuck it. And then back <laughs> into the, also going back to um, some of the synthy stuff. Let's see. They've got synth swells with like different, uh, you know, just little intervals. Sounds like a DX7. You know, you would you could get that exact sound by running like a whammy set at like a fifth going into some sort of gnarly reverb. It's all in one right there. Bass station. So bass station. The bass through the space. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Crazy. Alright, give me one more weird fucking ring mod one. how a lot of the sounds you play to the sounds on yes that, right? right that's what I've noticed a lot with like synth stuff from that era you you don't just crank it on and play normal riffs on a guitar or bass you play to the actual effect right you, know? you have to really hear it too right Thing. Shout out to Jonathan Hitchke, Tom Cram, Dan Elkin, Dan Elkin, Josh, Josh Klinghoffer, Supro for hooking us up, the amp. Shout out to this new fucking angle. Angles of the GoPro. What the fuck? Yes. Ooh. 